In this video tutorial, you will learn the ins and outs of Scribblify, a fun and creative drawing application for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Although this video uses an iPad for demonstrative purposes, the interface and functionality is virtually identical across all supported devices. Please note that Scribblify runs best in landscape orientation as depicted throughout this video. Upon launching Scribblify, you will be taken to the main canvas area where you can immediately begin creating your artwork. The main menu options appear on the left side of the view, while secondary options appear to the right. At the top of the main menu stack is the file menu. Tapping this icon will reveal three action icons for saving, loading, and clearing your artwork. Tap the first action icon, depicted as a floppy disk, to save your drawing to your device's photo library. By saving the artwork to your local library, you can easily transfer it to your computer or access it using any number of third-party applications, including the default Photos app. Each time you save a drawing using this method, it will create a copy so as not to replace any existing artwork. Tap the second action icon, depicted as a file folder, to load an existing image from your photo library. Depending on the resolution and quality of the photo you open and your device, this may take several seconds to load to the canvas. Remember that resaving an open image will create a copy of it in your photo library and will never overwrite the original photo. Finally, tap the new icon depicted as a blank sheet of paper to erase the canvas and start over. The file menu can be opened or closed at any time by tapping and retapping the file icon. Directly beneath the file menu is the share menu. Tapping the avatar icon will bring up a variety of social networking and sharing options. The icons from left to right include email, Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, and Tumblr. Tapping on any one of these social networking icons will open up an appropriate dialogue for you to communicate and share your artwork with others. Of course, you will need to have an account with each one of the social networking services that you wish to use, and the first time you launch them, you will have to authenticate Scribblify with that service. Just as before, you can open and close the Share menu by tapping the avatar icon once to open and once to close. Below the Share icon is the Preferences icon. Tapping this icon will open a variety of global options that you can set for Scribblify, including the Undo Redo system, Shake to Erase, use selected brush as eraser, and a variety of other options. When finished in the preferences view, tap the green check mark to return to the main canvas. The next menu item is the mirroring system. By default, the mirroring system is disabled as depicted by the grayed out icon. Tapping the mirror icon once will enable horizontal mirroring. Tapping the mirror icon a second time will enable vertical mirroring. Tapping the mirror icon a third time will enable quad mirroring in which your image is duplicated four times on the screen. Tapping the mirror icon once again will turn it off and you'll be back to your normal drawing mode. Below the mirroring option is the color picker option. Tapping this icon will bring up the color picker where you can customize and select from a variety of color options. You can select from any of the 140 base colors by dragging your finger across the surface. Alternatively, you can simply tap on the color of your choosing. A preview of the color will appear in the upper right and tapping that preview window will close the color picker. Alternatively, if you are on an iPad, Touching anywhere outside of the color picker will close the window. Notice that the color picker icon updates to reflect the currently selected primary color. Returning to the color picker options, I will briefly illustrate the variety of color effects available. The icon directly beneath the color preview window is known as the plasma effect. Checking the plasma effect will create a full spectrum gradient as you draw. Note also that the lightness of the gradient depends on your base color. So if I select a very light color, 
and draw again, you get a much more faint plasma effect. Similarly, you can select a darker image, and then as you draw, you get a darker rainbow styled effect. Let's return to the color picker and select a brighter base color once again. The second color effect option is known as multicolor. With multicolor enabled, your brush will randomly mix an assortment of colors as you draw. Again, if you select a lighter base color, then the output will be lighter, and if you select a darker base color, then the output will be darker while still mixing completely random colors. Depending on the brush that you use, this can create some interesting pastel-like effects. The third distinct color effect option will switch colors with every touch. More specifically, this effect will use whatever row your base color is on and pick from that row of colors with each touch. So if we have a lighter shade and begin drawing, each time we draw, it'll give us one of those random lighter shades of colors. Similarly, if we select a darker color, we get darker shades. To make the next color effect option very clear, I will select a more simplistic brush. Another color effect option available in Scriblify is known as color variants. Color variants can be enabled or disabled by tapping the circular icon below the three color effect options. In addition, color variants can work in conjunction with any of the other color effects or just with a base color. For this demonstration, I will just use a base color of red. First, with color variants disabled using a solid red primary color and a simplistic brush, you will see that as I draw, the color is very solid. However, when I enable color variance and keep its threshold level about midway, you will see that as I draw, it mixes lighter and darker shades of the selected color. Increasing or decreasing the color variance threshold will vary how drastically the color shifts are. Color variance works great with many of the natural and abstract brushes available in Scriblify. If you disable color variance, your colors are going to be more flat. And remember, color variance works alongside any of the other color effects. So if we enable plasma but disable color variance, we get a very vibrant rainbow effect. If we then enable color variance, you can see the difference in the effect. The final color option available in the color picker allows you to select a secondary color alongside the primary color. This opens up an entirely new world of effects. To illustrate how this is different from just having one color, I am going to first disable all of the color effects. And I will select my primary color by dragging the single outline box to red, and then I will select my secondary color by dragging the double outlined box to yellow. Now, without any of the other color effect options selected, these two colors, when drawn, will create the blended output, which in this case is orange. If I change the secondary color to blue, this will now combine red and blue to create a purple color. If I return to the color picker and enable the plasma color effect with two colors selected, instead of getting that rainbow effect that we did previously, Instead, the colors are going to smoothly blend from one into the other. This allows you to create very organic looking color mixes and other abstract effects. Moving on, if we select the multicolor effect with two colors selected, this will again only use those two colors to create the mixing rather than using the entire spectrum of colors as was previously the case. Finally, if we enable the switch color on touch effect with two colors selected, every time we draw, the alternate color will be selected. As always, you can enable color variants with one or two colors selected and it will behave similarly. Returning one more time to the color effects menu, 
It is easy to disable or enable any one of these options by tapping once to enable it and again to disable it. Active items will always have a green border around them, while inactive items have a red border. The brush and color effect options you specify can create infinite possibilities when drawing with Scriblify. The next main menu item is the brush picker, which is quite self-explanatory. Simply tap on any of the brush icons to see a real-time preview of that brush below. Notice also that each brush is very unique in properties and effects. Depending on your version of Scriblify, you may be able to navigate pages of icons using the arrows below. Furthermore, notice that the color in the preview box is based on what you have set up in the color effects. So if we select a base color of green with plasma effects and return to the main brush picker, you can see that reflected in the preview. Furthermore, you can adjust the scale of the brushes using the top slider and the opacity using the bottom slider. This can create some very advanced effects. Finally, there's a button that allows you to enable size variants. With this enabled, the slower you draw, the smaller the brush will be. And it is based on the maximum set scale. The final main menu icon simply hides or displays all of the menu options. This is especially useful if drawing near the edge of the screen or otherwise wishing to remove the distractions while painting. The secondary menu options on the right side of the screen include an undo and redo, an eraser, and a simple dual layer system. Let's first examine the undo and redo system by creating a new document. And we will also change the brush a little bit. For this example, I will simply write out the numbers 1 through 3. Now, if you tap the undo button a single time, the last drawn stroke will be erased. If you tap it again, the second to last stroke will be erased, and so on. Likewise, if you have undid a stroke and want to bring it back, you can press the redo button once, twice, and three times. Note that if you tap the undo button several times and then draw again, you cannot bring back the previously removed stroke. Scriblify supports up to 15 undo levels across each of the available layers. Furthermore, if you draw very quickly, more than one stroke may be erased per undo. The dedicated eraser tool will allow you to erase specific sections of your drawing without having to use the clear canvas or undo features. By default, the dedicated eraser brush is a simple solid sphere. However, if you go into the preferences and toggle the option to use your selected brush as the eraser, then any of the brush settings you set within the brush picker will act as an eraser for advanced effects. When you're done erasing, tap the erase button again to disable it, and you will be back to your normal drawing mode. The final major feature of Scriblify is a simple background and foreground layering system. This is especially useful for painting in backgrounds or creating advanced composite effects. For this example, let's draw a very basic tree-like structure. So I'll adjust my colors a little bit. Now I'll just draw a very basic looking tree-like structure. And now let's say that I want to fill in the background with clouds so I can change my brush once again and then if I switch to the background layer and begin filling in notice that only the background behind what I've already drawn will be filled in again the undo and redo features work independently per layer so you can undo the background layer and undo the foreground layer separately you can also use your eraser brush on the foreground layer to let more of the background layer shine through. Please note that the layering system is single session only and will not be preserved once you save and close your image. Although this tutorial has gone over all of the major and secondary features of Scriblify, there are several others to note. For instance, you can quickly fill in the background with any solid color by selecting the color from the color picker 
and then holding your finger on it for one second. Select yes on the prompt to fill in the background with that color. Alternatively, you can also select a color as the default for every new canvas. Finally, although Scribblify works best in landscape mode, you can rotate the device 90 degrees to create and share portrait-based drawings. For more information, please visit Scribblify.com.